difference between ant gels and cockroach gels basically is the, the basis of there is no attractant in cockroach baits. They are colour blind, they don't smell, they sense pheromone, that's about it. They um, taste things by coming in contact and then licking their uh, feet or licking their sphericals on their feet as well as they're pulling their antlers into their mouth. Whereas ants will be attracted by a smell of either whether they're protein feeders or meat feeders or sugar feeders. In gel baits for ants there'll be things like sugars and um, I'll say protein meal. For cockroach baits is they come across it, they like it, it becomes palatable to them but they can't smell it or sense it being around them. There is a lower dose in ant baits because we want that active ingredient to go back two or three times whereas a higher dose for the single feeding cockroach baits. But that's again understanding ant biology which is really interesting, it's not boring uh, understanding the nodes behind the um, second pedicel and the gaster. Um, there's one or two nodes and that's usually telling you mono or polymorphic species. So getting down with a, a good you know, 25, 30 times lens um, and understanding the behaviours of those species is, um, uh, can be interesting and again gives you better efficacy in treatments. If you can understand that species exactly and homeowners laugh at you and say oh it's a white footed house ant they actually go really close and look at it. I can't see any white feet. They're actually grey, not white, but they do have like little boots on their feet, which is how you define them. And understanding that difference between ferro or, you know, coastal browns is understanding the difference of how to treat them. I believe in my treatment process that I would use Advin Ant Gel um, more so inside of a house. <laughs>